Good day students. In this video, we are going to see about the answer of the question. Why we need a course digital system? Now we are going to study digital system as a subject. But what is the need? Why we need to study that? Just for a few moment, think about some analog devices. Also, think about some digital devices. Right? You are having a thought process now. And some devices would have been coming to your mind. Right? So, these were the some of the devices which you perhaps remember now. So, we have two forms of clock. One is analog watch and digital watch. And these are some meters you have come across in our laboratories. Some may be analog meters and some may be digital meters. And the third figure shows the joystick. And one is analog joystick and a digital joystick. So, what is the basic difference between these devices? So, whenever we are talking about analog signal, we are saying that there is a continuous smooth transition with respect to time. If you say the digital system, the signals are discrete in nature. It is digitalized. The signal is not continuous with time. In analog signal, the signal is continuous with time. So, whatever I am speaking is a continuous analog signal. It is just a continuous signal with time. So, these are analog signals. In a digital signal, what we will be doing is, we are discretizing the system and with respect to time, we are having no continuous form of signals. So, this is the very, very basic fundamental difference between an analog and digital devices. Here, these are some examples of analog devices and digital devices that we are using now. So, some years back, perhaps we are using a camera putting a film roll and we will be using a battery to operate it. And these cameras are analog in nature. But after a revolution in a digital technology, now most of the devices are digital in nature. So, what we are using now, our mobile phones, iPads, desktop, laptops, digital cameras, players, everything are digital in nature. If you say a pure analog signal, we need a continuous signal with respect to time and it is delivered by some headphone speakers. These are analog output devices. And here it is a microphone, it is an analog input device. And this thermometer will change with respect to time and it will be another analog device. So, whenever there is a change, regular change over a period of time, that is analog device. So, what will be the basic difference between analog and digital device is lies in the storing and processing of data. If you see in digital device, the storing and processing are only bits of information because we are using electricity in digital device. It is operating in a DC volts, maybe 5 volts or 12 volts. We are having two voltage levels, 5 volts or 0 volts representing a bit level high or level low. So, logic 1 or logic 0. There are only two binary levels in digital system. In analog system, there will be a slow variation from 0 to 5 volts, which covers the entire old numbers between 0 and 5. But in digital device, it have only two voltage levels, the higher most level and the ground level. So these form another difference. But if you see in the real-time world, 
whatever data that we are processing i am speaking you are getting some uh, values from the sensors everything is analog in nature but if you see the devices that we are using to process or control the devices are digital in nature so what we are doing is analog in nature and the devices processing the signals are digital in nature so we require a suitable interface to convert these data so we'll be having analog to digital converter circuitry to convert the analog data to digital data so this interface is very important as the real world data contains analog signals but the processing systems are now digital in nature so similarly if we want analog signal output from some analog devices and which is operated from a digital data storage medium we require a suitable interface device to convert the digital data to analog data so what you have to remember is our real world signals are mostly analog in nature but the processing device is now due to the revolution they are mostly digital in nature so through the suitable interface we are interconnecting these signals and we are contributing entire systems so these diagrams shows some of the memory storage devices which stores bits bits means the binary data one or zero so this is a hard disk probably you have seen it inside the computer and now we are having external hard disk and this is a pen drive or memory stick this is a flash memory perhaps we are using in cameras this is the micro flash memory that we are using in all our mobile phones so these are the typical examples of storage devices that stores only binary information and these devices are purely digital so as all the devices around us are digital now as an engineer we are in need to understand the basics of these digital systems so i hope you understand why we are going for this subject right thank you